Scientific psychology has a lot of other applications besides the field of mental health. To education, in the workplace, in sports, in helping people become better parents, and helping government address issues of public policy and public welfare. Unfortunately, time doesn't permit us to go into all these applications in this course. We hope that this course has stimulated your interest in psychology in both its basic and its applied aspects. Whether you actually major in psychology or not, you'll probably find some upper division courses in psychology that will also be of interest. A major goal of this course has been to prepare you to get the most out of them. Even if you don't major in psychology and you never take another psychology course, we hope you have a better understanding of how your mind works and the relationship between your mind and your brain and the origins of human uniqueness. We've made remarkable progress in psychology just in 150 or so years, but still almost every week brings news of another advance in understanding how the mind and the brain work the nature and treatment of mental illness, and the like. Psychology isn't a finished science any more than physics and chemistry are. There is still a lot more to learn. Now before I leave you, please make sure that you complete the course evaluation process. We want to make this the best online course possible, and for that we need your input, so we really pay attention to the course evaluations. So good luck with the rest of your studies and try to make room for another psychology course.